In today's video, I'm going to show you how I made this fighting knife. I forged this out in my previous video, so if you're interested in, in seeing that process, uh, check out my last video to see how I forged it out. So after the forging, I did three grain refinement cycles and then went to the belt sander to grind the scale off and get the profile done. Then I did the rough grind on the bevels. And I ground it down on a 36 belt on the edge, probably to about the thickness of a quarter. So I've done the profiling and the rough grind with the 36 grit belt. Here's what that result looks like. And I'm going to go straight to the 120 grit, clean up those deep scratches from the 36 grit belt. Then I'll probably work on this uh, Ricasso area here. From there, um, go to heat treating. So here I'm using a jig I made and a hand file to try and square off the shoulders on the Ricasso, just trying to get them squared up with the spine so that the uh, guard will fit up flush with the Ricasso. So I've got the shoulders ground down on the Ricasso. Also did a little file work on the plunge lines. So now it's time to heat treat. This is 1095. So I'm going to heat it up to a 1475 Fahrenheit in the kiln and quench in Parks 50. So here I'm cleaning the quench oil off the knife before I go in the oven to temper. I temper in the oven in my kitchen and that oil will burn and really stink up the house. So while the knife is in the oven tempering, I'm going to start working on the guard. I have this piece of metal. I'm 25% certain that it's wrought iron and I'm going to try and reshape it a little here. It's got some curve to it so I want to try and flatten that out before I cut a piece off to use as the guard. So as you can see from my videos, I don't have a really nice grinder and it takes a long time to try and grind with some of these things, these pieces out. So anything I can do, forging the shape and uh, reduce the amount of grinding I have to do makes the process go a lot faster. So after getting the guard cut out and ground down, I marked a couple of lines where the slot's going to need to go to fit up on the tang, drilled those out on the drill press. At this point, the knife was done tempering, so I took it over to the belt sander, did my final grind on the bevels, that's with a 220 grit belt, then I hand sanded up to 400. So I needed to soften up the tang, uh, so I heated it up with the torch till I got a purple color right up to the shoulder on the Ricasso. I want the tang to break when I'm hammering the guard on. Also later on when I drill the hole for the pin and the handle, uh, it makes it a lot easier when that tang is soft. Got that done and I'm filing out the slot on the guard, fitting up the knife. A repetitive process. Uh, just continue doing it until we get somewhere between a quarter to half an inch fit uh, of the, the guard up to the Ricasso and then I put it in the vise and hammered it on.
The wood I'm using for the handle is a piece of Kokobolo. I started by drilling a couple of holes on the drill press for the tang to fit into. Then I put it in the vise and used my hand drill and a longer drill bit to ream out uh, the two holes joined together and a hand file to file out that slot. I did a rough shaping of the handle before the glue up. Marked the pattern on the guard and cut off most of that excess material on the little bandsaw. Uh, as I said before, it, trying to file all that down with that little grinder would have just taken forever. So cut off most of the excess material and then did the final shaping on the, the belt sander. So after etching in my logo, I applied some brass black, let that dry, sanded that off, just to give the etched area a darker black. So once I had that done, it was time to do the glue up. And I used JB Weld around the guard to just to try and get a better seal, keep water out, and then wet system epoxy to glue the handle on. These rubber bands to hold this thing down. I saw some guy on uh, YouTube do this. I thought, what the heck, I'd give it a shot. It seemed to work all right. Uh, so after getting the handle glued together, I uh, went over to the drill press, drilled a 16th inch hole for my pin. That's a stainless steel 16th inch pin. And I attached that with some CA glue. Starbond makes a really good CA glue with an accelerator spray you can apply and it uh, instantly hardens. Then it was time to go finish the sanding and shaping on the handle. Goes back to the belt sander to do that. And followed that up uh, with some hand sanding. I think I sanded this up to uh, 400 grit on the handle. I wanted to gun blue the guard. So before doing that, I roughed up the surface with the uh, Dremel and a wire wheel just to kind of smooth out that surface uh, before applying the gun blue. And that's Brownells Oxfoil Blue. I did two coats uh, followed by a triple lot steel wool polish after each coat. I think it turned out pretty good. It's not perfect. Uh, much easier than doing a hot blue. And coming to the end of getting the knife finished, last thing I did here was grinding the bevels on the clip. I like to do that after the hand sanding. Uh, when you try and hand sand with those bevels on there, it has a tendency to wash that edge out. You get a much sharper edge on that bevel uh, by grinding it after you do the hand sanding. So I got the knife sharpened up and it shaves and then I'm just applying some mineral oil to the handle, bring out the colors in the wood and uh, had the knife all finished up. This is probably one of the better knives I've made so far. I really like the way the colors in the, in the Cocobolo and the gun blued guard look. So I'm pretty happy with it. So thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video.